Say words to me. Hey guys, welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Spider-Man Web of Shadows Amazing Allies Edition part 9. I already said that. For the PS2. No one gives old Spidey a break. No, they do not. So in the last part we uh we kept working towards building the sonic generator. Again, I can't remember who we fought. It just becomes so forgettable. <laughs> Once more. So anyway, so we are still working towards building this sonic generation generator. So what we have to do is defeat a load of symbiotes and we have to climb this tower. So I don't know if this is actually explicitly said in the game. I'm sure it is and I'm just I just missed it. Uh we're actually climbing Fisk Tower. And just in case you don't know, Fisk is the last name of Kimpin. So we are climbing Kimpin's tower. Venom, venom, so many venoms. I don't know where to start. Yeah, I know, right, Spidey? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really matter that this is Fisk Tower and this is the one that we're climbing, but just in case you wanted to know, because we're trying to get to the very top so we can actually build the sonic generator, stop the symbiote, save the day. All that kind of stuff. So, like, I complained about the last level that it was just kind of filler, and I, I get a similar feeling from this level. I don't, I don't dislike it. I like how there's a lot more symbiote uh, stuff going on here. Like, you can see all the little purple stuff, all these purple, like, veins almost, like, emerging from the ground. That's the sort of stuff that should have been in the whole game for all of it, really. But I like that it is finally coming up. But you, you don't really get a sense that this is Fisk's tower. Like, there's nothing really unique about the place. It's just a building that's tall. So, yeah, it, it's nice to see all the symbiote kind of stuff, but it might have had a bit more of an impact if this didn't just look like a generic tower building. If this actually had a... If it actually looked like a building that had some significance to the Spider-Man universe. Just a little bit of significance. We can do this the easy way or the... Ah, who am I kidding? Everything's always the hard one. <laughs> so something that's fun about this level is that, you know, if, in case you don't remember, something that was introduced okay. in this game, and only in this version of the game, in the uh, PS3, 360, and the DS version it doesn't happen, where the symbiotes are all a part of Venom, so all have part of Venom's memory, so can all talk to some degree. So something you actually hear in this level is that the symbiotes will say like random stuff that don't really make that much kind of sense, but it's all because of the Venom stuff. But there really is like a lot of difference here with the story, and I really don't know what happened. Uh, okay, so the quest we're doing at the moment is that we find this soldier and he's all like, I'm sick of the symbiote, lame. So we have to take him all the way back to safety, so I thought I might as well do it. This level isn't that long, so I thought I might as well do the quest. But yeah, there's a lot of changes here with this story, and I don't know what the kind of thing was where... With the different, like, developers talking to each other, because each of these stories are different. And it's something that's really cool, because it means that each version of the game is unique in terms of the plot but it's all kind of similar stuff and it, it for the for the most part it seems a little pointless like with the 360 version you know what you're getting you know it starts off with spider-man being spider-man normal day you get that whole sort of background and then as you go along the symbiotes kind of take over spider-man has to make choices venom's there it, you know, you know what you're gonna get. Shield is involved. With the DS version, it's more compressed, where the symbiotes have already taken over, and it's just Spider-Man trying to stop them. With this one, it's it's kind of some. There's characters in this version of the game, like uh, Jonah J. Jameson. He is only in this version of the game. But then we also have to deal with the AIM soldiers. So for the first half of this level we're fighting the symbiotes and I recommend just almost ignoring them because I just find them quite irritating to fight. 
They're exactly the same as we've seen them in the other levels. They're not really that fun to fight. The combat isn't that in you know it isn't good in this game anyway. But the fact that they're just spamming symbiotes at you at this point really made me think I'm not going to fight them. And then also in this part of the game, there's the whole thing is that we got these like I don't know we got these like lifts that you can jump on that take you up and down. I guess it's supposed to be a gameplay mechanic, but really. You're Spider-Man, so you just web upwards and it always kind of works out. So I don't quite know what the the point was in them. But I do, I okay, if I'm going to be positive, something I do really like about this level is that you're always going up. And I really like, look at this, look at the camera. Don't call me, I'll call you. Oh, too late, so what do you want? There's a bug. Because the game forces you to take a phone call in that part of the game. So if you instead web upwards and are on the ceiling, the game forces you to come down and then the camera freaks out by like pulsing. Which is, why would it pulse? Like of all the things that the camera could do, I don't quite know. It's odd. But yeah, okay, so the story differences. So a big thing about this game is that you and Nick Fury are always kind of against each other. Uh, Nick Fury does contact you. Is tingling or I'm having a stroke. Okay, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, you got your scorecards ready once more, the third stroke the joke of the game. The third one. This isn't a long game. We're only on part nine. That You're means Spider-Man has averaged no. one stroke joke for every three episodes we've done. That's not, <laughs> that's like that's weird. When I heard this for the first time when I was playing the game and he just was like, I guess I'm having a stroke. I'm like, again? <laughs> it was really weird. Like, It always kind of made me laugh in a, in a bad way. It made me laugh in a bad way. But anyway, yeah, story differences. So Nick Fury is in the 360 and the main version of the game. But you don't knock head as much. There's like a lot of whole thing where you and Spider- Or Spider-Man and Nick Fury. Even if you play the good side of the story. Because you know. It's something I haven't talked about too much. But there are good choices and bad choices here. And that is seen most with the dialogue. So you can be nice or evil towards Nick Fury. But even if you're nice. You still go against him. And he still doesn't trust you. And you still don't trust him. But uh, in case you're wondering. Who we're fighting at the moment are the AIM soldiers. Now, if you have Lucky seen you, Iron Man 3, beta, then you would have heard me? about the AIM soldiers already, because apparently they were in that film. I thought that film was pretty average, so I don't really remember them too much. I don't... like... okay. I won't go into why I don't like Iron Man 3, but the main problem were the villains, and how just like they had fire explosive power is so lame. Uh, but yeah, apparently AIM soldiers were in that. So if like I, I had to look it up because when I was playing this level I was like who am I fighting because they look like the soldiers that were underground before back in I think part three or four and I think they are supposed to be because the thing that's quite nice about these soldiers is that now that we've fully leveled up oh yeah this is it by the way I'm fully leveled up I haven't leveled up black suit, but I've leveled up red suit to maximum, like absolute maximum. So this is it. This is Spider-Man at full power once you buy every single upgrade. Not that impressive. But yeah, with the aim soldier, I was like, who are we fighting here? But apparently they are this organization. In case you want some background, the aim soldiers are something that is in the comic books, but they're not really that big or matter too much. And the thing that confused me is that this guy that you talk to right here, it's another random soldier that just talks to you for no reason. He's saying how much he dislikes the Kingpin, and just Kingpin, saying I don't want to work for him anymore. But he's an AIM soldier, and from what I can tell by doing research, Kingpin isn't involved with AIM. So I have no idea why that soldier comes up to you and says I don't want to work for Kingpin anymore, because these are all supposed to be AIM soldiers. Which is A-I-M, by the way. I'm just shorting in it for AIM for the sake of time. And it just makes sense to do that anyway. But yes, I, I don't know why they're here. Because really, there's no reason why any soldiers should be fighting Spider-Man. And there's no reason why the AIM soldiers should be here fighting you. 
Uh, from what I can tell, the only reason why they're fighting you is because they're working with Spencer Smythe, who we will see again in a bit. But the only mention we've had of Spencer is that one phone call he made. Because he kidnapped Jonah J. J. Jameson, and then he called us about it, and that's it. Remember I mentioned it, how Spencer would just called you up to be like, I'm here, I exist, everyone! I'm in this plot, who says I'm not? They seem to like kind of try and make him out to be a big part of the plot. But as far as I'm concerned, the only character, like main characters here are Spider-Man, Venom, for obvious reasons because it's a symbiote invasion, and Nick Fury, and Kingpin. That's it. But for some reason they try to make out Spencer Smythe is a big deal. Okay, so now we are at the very top of the tower, so this is us just assembling the Sonic, move, uh, move, move, move. whatever it was called, I can't remember anymore. The Sonic Evil Die Now, please. So you just gotta kind of fight some for some more enemies, and that's pretty much it. You go up to the computer, you turn it on, you fight some enemies, you turn on the computer, you fight some enemies, but... But yeah, so the reason why I'm talking about Spencer Smythe is because he does come up, but as far as I'm concerned, he's not a part of the plot. Like, he, he, he he's pretending like he's part of the plot. Really has nothing to do with this, and he's only in this version of the game. Him and the AIM soldiers are only in this version, and from what I can tell, I'm going to have a look, because I did bring up, I do have the Wikipedia page up here. Uh, Spencer Smythe is a very small part of the Spider-Man universe from what I can tell. So if we go to AIM, which stands for Advanced Idea Mechanics, there's nothing here that makes me think that he's working with Spencer Smythe. So from what I can tell, they just kind of made this all up. They just threw in these names. And the only reason why I'm complaining about it is because it seems a little lazy. And again, like they changed the story in this game for no real reason. Like, you can make your own changes to try and make it your own story, but this just seems like they pulled a ton of Spider-Man names out of the hat. You know, I'm not the brightest bulb on the drive through menu, but I bet if you put all these parts together, you're gonna wind up with a really big, angry Venom. Yeah, they just put them all out of the hat, grabbed them, and that was it. Like, here we go, Jackal now just shows up. Wasn't he on the heli carrier, and we beat him up? And he, how did he not die? The thing crashed, didn't it? I don't know how he's still alive. So yeah, so out of nowhere, Jackal creeps in and steals the Sonic Generator, which makes no sense. Because Spider-Man would just beat him up and win. I told you, I don't want any. So this, again, and here we go, here's Spencer Smythe. And apparently the Jackal was a double agent for Spencer Smythe, but he's now betrayed Spencer Smythe and steered in the machine. Like, you, you see what I'm talking about, right? Like, they make a ton of changes to the story, but it just makes it more weird and confusing. Like, it, it's not impossible to follow, don't get me wrong. It's not like a complex story and that's all over the place. It's just like, why are these characters here? It doesn't work. Must spider-man I remember when I used to joke about things not getting any worse man those were and the now days. we're fighting black cat because Spencer Smythe someone who has only been mentioned once has hypnotized her to fight spider-man so here's our boss fight for this level so there's really nothing to say about this boss fight. She doesn't have any lethal attacks. All she does is kind of try and kick you. So the best thing to do is that you just get her into a combo. You try and punch her so you can like get her into some sort of a combo. But because of the way she moves and the way she can like attack you, sometimes it's hard. And by the and also the combat's bad. So that's why it can be hard to get her into a combo. Because sometimes you just miss and the way she moves is just weird. Hey, look, I got call waiting. It's my girlfriend. Can I call you back? Yeah, like, why is he calling you? So Spencer Smythe seems to be obsessed with taking down Spider-Man. But why is this all happening? I, I just don't know. So now that we've beaten C Black Cat once, Must we've now got to beat her again. With no differences. Oh, Arguably, on. she's weaker than the first time. Or I found that. And there we go. That's the boss fight done. Good job. And now she will come to our aid. 
And the weird thing about it is that the game tells you Spencer Smythe is all like, you can't save her because I've attached, like, done some stuff to her brain, and then you just beat her up and she's fine. The story just, like, wets the bed in this part. But anyway, next time, let's play Spider-Man Web of Shadows Amazing Allies Edition. Jacko has stolen the Sonic Generator, so we are going to track him down. So I've been Honest Tom 23 Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.